So when I was taking breaks, let me just show you. Let me just give you up there. Let me show you. So this is what I've been doing behind scenes. And instead of sticking a video in there of this, I said to myself, Remember I used to say, What it do like new family welcome back to another video so in this video i want to start it off just a little bit differently um, not that i feel i have to but it's something that i wanted to do so when i first embarked on this journey january february 2019 ish right around there so the game plan was that i was going to do the work i was going to record while i was doing the work and then i was going to pass the work or pass the video footage off to another person they were gonna edit it i was gonna pay them and it was gonna be easy i know how i work i know what i'm capable of so i knew i would get enough footage one video a week it's not that much well the problem came in when the person to pass off never existed had four people i tried it didn't work out and so finally had to learn it myself what i did and then i started doing the work started putting the videos perfect everything was going smooth and then for a few weeks at a time nothing and and that was just because being new to this space and coming where i come from you feel like there's always supposed to be a certain way to do things and though i am the creator though that this is my platform i can do whatever i want to so to speak it just felt like if i deviated from the process it was wrong so when I was taking breaks, let me just show you. Let me just give you up there. Let me show you. So this is what I've been doing behind scenes. And instead of sticking a video in there of this, I said to myself, I can't be flipping house to house. I got to finish one house first, and then I can start the second house. But there's no rules. Who wrote the rule book? So when I should have just once a week been editing this video, putting it up, I've been recording here, working here, and some of you probably don't even recognize this house. This is the white house that had the big hole there. So yes, I've got this far. Brand new roof, brand new soffit, brand new trim, brand new siding, brand new windows, brand new front door, brand new back door. So I've actually been working and I've actually been recording. But the only reason you're not seeing videos like you were supposed to is because for one, I had nobody to pass the videos to where I could work and they could edit. And then for two, I've been working here and I felt like there was not a way that I could go between. It felt like that was wrong, which it wasn't wrong. But since we're here, I'm going to give you a sneak preview of what's to come in the future. Because like I told you, yes, I did get the house. And yes, I have been working. And we got a lot done. Brand new cap, brand new door, all new siding, new windows. This is some pretty exciting stuff. And boy, did I learn a lot on this house. And boy, did we get a lot done. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. But I'll give you some samples and I'll let you see that. Before I paint it, these videos will start going up. And I do want some added footback. What did I say? Footback? Added feedback on what you think. But yeah, let me give you a quick look at the other side. And then... We'll get to what we gonna get to uh, back on the other old thing. This one's actually about the same age, if not a little older than the other one, but it was way worse. And I did all of the work that you see here through me. I won't say by myself, cause I did have some work, but I'll say through me, meaning that I didn't hire it out, but I did pay for help on certain parts. Man, I can't tell you, I'm so excited, I'm proud, I'm happy that it came out. So there you go. I just wanted to let that out because I do have some 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 loyal followers and it's just crazy to me that there's people out there crazy enough to believe in the crazy stuff that I'm doing and they like seeing it. And so I felt like to you, I wanted to give this explanation. I didn't feel like I owed this to anybody or I had to, but I really wanted to do it because um, yeah, I mean, I just did. But yeah, so there you have it. I'm not gonna show you too much because you'll get to see this house in full complete detail. But I wanted to show you what was going on so that you got a visual. So it didn't just seem like I was making excuses. Um, Cause for a minute I tried to hide it, but then I was like, why hide it? Why not just be transparent and show what's going on? Because I mean, this is what we're doing. But uh, yeah, anyway, if you're here for the first time, 
My name is Orlando. This is Like New TV. Smash that subscribe button down below, up above, to the left, to the right. I don't know where it is. Join the Like New family. But enough of me rambling, talking, talking, talking. Let's get to work. Okay, now what I got here is, this was the leftover mud from when I was shooting texture the first time. So I'm gonna take this, re-whip it, make sure the consistency's still good, and use this to do the packing. Also forgot, since I'm not gonna be spraying it out of the gun, I need a knockdown sponge, so we're gonna home make one right fast. Or at least I think it works. I've never tried this before, but I've seen knockdown sponges and this is pretty much how they look. So in my mind, it's gonna work. So you'll know with me. There it is. Let me clean it up and we'll check it out. All right, see what we can do. That's why I covered the floor. Looks good, like I told you. We'll let it sit for about 15 minutes and once everything starts to glaze over, we'll knock it down and they sell sponges, but I mean, in my opinion, it came out just as good and you'll see what the knockdown will do once we actually hit it. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. I don't know if the camera really shows it, but there was like a wet glare on the, the joint compound. Now that it's set for 30 minutes, that's gone. See that? But it's still wet. Light pressure to none at all, and you just drag it. Like I said, I'm barely pressing it against the wall. See like this, the weight of it, and you just bring it on back. Boom, and now once I obtain it, you'll never even know it was, oh there, 
same thing here and just to show you what I was doing I went through here there was a real dark line it was dark in here when we were actually taping in mud so you really couldn't see so we didn't float this out so there was a little line there where the uh, seam is so I kind of just went over the seam again and it'll be the same thing you just now and these were the other spots I did and uh, then I even did that bathroom where I told you I would touch it up. So, and then we'll let that dry overnight. That can't be painted till at least 24 hours. About this time tomorrow because it's got a cure. This is not fast setting mud. This is the regular mud in a bucket with extra water in it. So I pretty much got everything done that we were going to do. I am going to take down the attic access door and uh texture it i may take it home and actually spray it in the garage and then paint it in the garage and then go get that trim that i'm missing cut for it and then the only other thing that i did not get done that i did want to get done is that and the reason the floor is not in is because that one's not in and i can't put that one in until that one's in and what you'll notice the only reason it's not in this is two and a half inches the trim that I bought is three and a quarter. So I have to rip it similar to, I gotta make it look like this. So this is how the trim comes. I gotta cut it like that, which is going to require me popping a chalk line and then freehand cutting it with my skill saw since I don't have a table saw. I need someone to help pop the line so that we're smooth and straight. Cause I only have one board left and I don't want to mess it up unless I figure out something. I'm still thinking. We're gonna let everything else dry. We're gonna come back and paint, get some final painting. We're just gonna put a two by four door. I said two by four, a plywood door up over here and we'll texture it and paint it white and get some hinges and hinge it up there. Figured it out. Okay, so I measured over the two and a half that I needed. I used the miter saw and cut a hole here. So now what I'll do is I'll measure over two and a half from the bottom. I'll take the chalk line and I'll stick it through this hole, tie it to the back, and then I'll pull it down and I'll be able to pop a line. All right, quick update. So this piece down here that you see in the back, that's gonna be the new attic door. I cut out the sheetrock I had, retraced it. It's gonna last longer, the sheetrock, just me pushing it in and out, test fitting it, I broke it. Not bad, but it broke, so I'm just gonna use that because I had extra. That was the water heater closet door cover. That's just the extra piece, oh, excuse me. Okay, so that's the water heater door. That's the attic. What I'm gonna do is take them to my house along with that, 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 and the fourth one that I'm going to get in the morning. These are the trim pieces to the attic door. They're primer only, so I'm gonna go paint them white. These are too big for me to try and just do it with the sponge. It will take longer than it needs to. So I'm gonna take them to the garage and I'm gonna spray them with my hopper gun that I sprayed the house with. And then I'm gonna let them dry tonight after I spray them. And then I will paint them in the morning when I paint that. And then I'm also going to take a walk with me. Got the closet setups done. I'm gonna take that to the house with me as well. I'm gonna paint it white. And then even had a little extra. So I had that other piece that I cut out, but it was too small, wasn't enough depth. So. I had enough room left after cutting out the water heater door. So I cut out a better, longer piece for this. And I'm gonna take it with me as well. Paint it white to match everything else. Then we'll bring it back, screw it in. Bring the other one back, screw it in. Go get some hinges and we'll hinge this up and just put a little padlock on it. And regular knob, same knob that I got on everything else. Then I'll also bring my attic door back and put it in, trim it out. And um, yeah, we're pretty much done. Oh yeah, that's what I cut the closet countertop out of. 
This is the wood that I've been sitting my miter saw cutting everything on. I had another one at the house. It was a whole sheet, so instead of wasting a whole one, I just cut this. I didn't need anything else here, and I've already got a table saw stand. And then I'm gonna come back and paint all of this. It's dry, but I'll come back and paint it when I do touch up paint, because I'm gonna do the trim. And all of that, once I get all of these big tables, saw horses, and get all my equipment and stuff out of here. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow I should be able to clean everything out that's not staying in the house, clean the house, paint the house, put up those doors, put up the closet. And, um, but other than that, stay tuned. I think I already gave you an update on everything else that we did. The drywall work dried pretty good. I am happy with how it came out. We'll patch it. I mean, we'll paint the patch, get a final clean. Oh, and then in here, I don't remember, but if I didn't, I did get that done as much as I really want it. I'm happy with it. And uh, I'll take the tape off after we paint just to protect the face of the towel. Oh, and then I'm coming in tomorrow as well. Almost forgot. And I'll be grouting the tub. And also, I was gonna do it today, but I loaned my drill to a friend and she brought it back and it's almost one in the morning and I gotta go do the texturing. So I'll do that in the morning, but, or tomorrow. That, this, and then the touch up on this one. And just like that, I'm done. I got that trim up there, got that trim on the side. And then I even got the base trim cut. I haven't nailed any of it in because I think it's gonna be a lot easier to paint that trim there that's only primer without putting it on the wall first. That way I can protect the carpet too. So I'm gonna actually paint that one when I come back to paint all of this. And then I will put, let it dry, then I'll put it all up. But everything's cut, everything's measured, everything's fitting, and it cleared the door perfectly. And no, I didn't forget about the giveaway first. I apologize for the intro. I shoot from the back of my camera on my phone so there's no screen so I can see what you're seeing to after I finish and I forgot to proofread it. But anyway, to keep from going too long, I shot four outros to this video talking about the giveaway and they all were either deleted or they didn't record. And every time I got back, I went and shot it four times and I didn't have enough time to go shoot another one. I had to get the video edited so I can get some other work done. So for that, the giveaway winner is pinned in the comment section below. If you're the winner, send us an email at lightnewtv at gmail.com so we can get you your gift card. And thank you for all your support. Drop a like on this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.